This group was exceptionally good in the early days of Motown. It began as a quartet called the Blenders. This group had an excellent choreography with splits and spins that Barry Gordy initially believed was too much for a stage show. But with the assistance of Jackie Wilson, he persuaded Gordy to give the group a chance. The centerpiece of today's video is all about the contours. Now, before we start, let's be sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and push that notification bell to be sure you won't miss out any more uploads. Now, without further ado, let's cue that intro. Today's narrative begins in 1958 in Detroit, Michigan with a group called the Blenders. Now this group consisted of Billy Gordon, Billy Hogg, Sylvester Potts, Joe Billingsley, Jackie Wilson's cousin Herbert Johnson, and guitarist Huey Davis. Originally, the group consisted of Gordon, Hogg, and Billingsley. The group was successful and they stayed at hotels in Los Angeles, New York, and Chicago while touring the country. Now prior to the addition of Herbert Johnson, the trio was very unknown in their hometown. After visiting Contour Recordings, the group decided to call themselves the Contours. Johnson asked the group to sing for his cousin Jackie Wilson, who introduced the group to Barry Gordy. The group auditioned for Barry Gordy, who then told the group to return to him in a year. Disappointed with the outcome, the group returned to Wilson, where they repeated the exact same performance. Wilson was impressed and called Gordy and asked for a favor. Gordy then brought the group back for another audition, and eventually he signed them to a seven-year deal. The group's debut single was Whole Lot of Women. Over my feet, it's true I care for, it's true I adore, I can't take no win. Which bombed, and Gordy, he was completely done with the group, nearly releasing them until Wilson stepped in to save them again. Now with this second opportunity, the group received the song, Do You Love Me? Now this song was initially intended for the Temptations, but it was unable to capture Gordy desire, rough and radical sound. At the beginning of the group's existence, they added another member named Leroy Fair. Martha Reeves' brother Benny Reeves soon replaced Fair. Reeves soon left the group to serve into the military and he was replaced by Sylvester Potts. In 1962, the group released a single, Shake Sherry. The remainder of the 60s, the group racked up several charted singles, such as Don't Let Her Be Your Baby, day and night, night and day. Can You Do It? Can you jerk like me? First I look at the purse. Just a little misunderstanding. And it's so hard being a loser. Despite the great quality of the group's music, they garnered little attention from the label and fans. This was most likely due to Motown's huge roster, 
which made it reasonable that certain acts would be overlooked. In 1964, Hawks, Billingsling, Johnson, and Potts departed Motown. Gordy then hired Council Gay, Jerry Green, and Alvin English to join Gordon, officially making the group a quartet. Potts returned to the group within a year of his departure, replacing English. Gordon left the group shortly after and was replaced by Joe Stubbs. Stubbs shortly left the group and he was replaced by Dennis Edwards. Now during the mid-60s, the group had a lot of radio play, but most Motown fans didn't think that they was in the top 10. The group's seven-year deal with Motown expired in 1967, and Edwards, he was officially hired to replace David Ruffin from The Temptations in mid 1968. The group officially disbanded that same year, and in the early 70s, Billingsing recreated the group with new members, including former contour Consul Gay. During the 70s and 80s, the group performed in small clubs in Detroit, which helped them gain popularity, which led to international bookings. Potts later joined the group replacing Gay. Bellasine joined the group in 1993 while Potts departed in 2004 to form his own group called The Upscales. Potts, Bellasine, and their manager had all owned the contour name, which prompted Potts and Bellasine to disagree with Potts decided to quit the group to form his own group under the contour's name. However, Matters was able to be addressed outside of court, and both groups was able to use the contour's name respectfully with the contours with Joe Billison and the contours featuring Sylvester Potts. Hubert Johnson unalived himself in Detroit on July 11th, 1981 at the age of 40. Joe Stubbs passed away on February 5th, 1998. Billy Gordon passed away on May 10th, 1999. Huey Davis passed away on February 23rd, 2002 and Leroy Fair passed away on December of 2004. Now during this time over a 23 year period, the group had lost five members, but it wasn't the last. Sylvester Potts passed away on January 6, 2017. Dennis Edwards passed away on October 11, 2018. In March of 2010, the group was inducted into the Doo-Wop Hall of Fame of America. They was also inducted into the Rhythm and Blues Hall of Fame in 2015, followed by the Michigan's Legends Hall of Fame in 2017. Now, before we head up out of here, I have a question for you all. What is your favorite song from the contours?